Hi everyone and you're welcome to a new video. My name is Tolumi Abiola Oyediji and I am your fashion teacher. And you're welcome to a new video. Today I want to teach you something very, very interesting. But before we start, I want to say thank you to everyone that sent me congratulatory messages and said nice things about the baby and all. I want to say thank you. God bless you. I really, really appreciate you. It's amazing to be a mom. It's an amazing process. It's really amazing. And I am loving every bit of it. The sleepless nights, the cries, you know, the fact that you don't have your time to yourself again and all of that. I love it. It's stressful. You know, it gets stressful, but I love every bit of it. It's um, it's truly rewarding. It's a rewarding experience. I am I am very, very glad to be a mom. So thank you, um, everyone. Thank you. And for those, you know, who sent me emails about the online classes, you know, yeah, you can join our online classes. The online classes are amazing because we have classes. You know, started every month and then you can join the online classes from anywhere you are in the world. You know, we have people coming from different cities, different countries, you know, coming on the same platform, you know, something that they enjoy and you can learn as much as you want to learn. So it's really, really great. It's really good and it's really enjoyable. So if you want to join our online classes from anywhere you may be watching from, just send me an email on tolumitfb at gmail.com. Include your location in the email and I will send all the details that you need to you. So today, class today, I want to teach you how to make a simple sheet dress with a Peter Pan collar. Um, the dress is not defined on the waist, so it kind of hangs loosely on the waist, which is one of the major things about a sheet dress. It hangs loosely on your waist and if you want it to be fitter, you can accentuate with a belt or you know what have you so what I've got here is a shift dress and then you can see that the waist area is free you know and then even the hip is free so the dress sort of anchors loosely on your body it's not like a pencil dress or a fitted dress you know that is entirely fitted on your body and this is what we call a Peter Pan collar so I've got the collar here and I've got the same collar in this outfit here so that's what we are doing today so let's get ready for class So yes, for this dress that um, we've got here, what are the things you need? Um, you need the main fabric and the one that we're going to use for the plain patch. You can decide to use a plain one for your Peter Pan and you can decide to use the same pattern one. You can decide to use a plain and pattern one. You can use, decide to use two different patterns of African print or Ankara. You can also decide not to work with Ankara at all and just use another fabric that you like. So. Remember, there are no rules. You make the rules because you are the designer. You are the one creating the piece. You know, I just give the instructions. So um, I've got a fabric here, my beautiful African print fabric that I have got here. It's really beautiful, and the fabric is from us. So if you would like to buy fabrics from us, or you are you are not sure about where to get beautiful fabrics from you can check the link below this video and then you see the link to my amazon and ebay pages where you can buy beautiful african prints so this is the print i'm using and then i'm using this plain fabric you know for my peter pan and um, collar now how many yards of this do you need to make you know the dress now you can decide to make your dress without sleeves you can decide to make it with sleeves for this video that we are making, we're going to be making the dress with sleeves. The sleeves will be a bit shorter than this. This is like a three-quarter sleeve, so it sort of gets here. But we'll be making the sleeves to be shorter, so our sleeves will stop here. So um, you can decide to make it with a much more shorter sleeves. You can decide to make it with cap sleeves. You can decide to make it with any kind of sleeves. Um, if I don't go over the kind of sleeve you want, I have a previous um, video that I made on sleeves that you can watch. So if you scroll down the list of my videos, you will see a video that I have made on how to um, use how to um, cut sleeves. So how many yards of this beautiful fabric do you need? About two yards we do just fine. So um, two yards we do just fine, except your plus size, and then you may be using up to two and a half or yeah, maybe two and a half yards. But I don't think you will use more than two and a half. If you are plus 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 size, then you may need to use up to um, three yards. So um. We've got the fabric here and I am going to um, start to work. So um, we are starting to work now.
Now, um, you're going to be using your hip measurement to cut this dress. Which, because um, the hip measurement is the widest of all the measurements, widest of all the body measurements. So you can see that for the body measurement, we have 40, 33, and 44. And because the hip measurement is the widest, so we're using the hip measurement to do what we want to do. Now we have the hip measurement. I'm going to write this on another sheet of paper. So hip is 44. Now, because it's a sheet first, and then it doesn't, you know, um, it's not snug on your body it's not like fitted it sort of has a free fit on your body so instead of 44 we are actually going to add two inches room allowance to it if you watch the video on kaftan or you watch the video now to make the boba then you understand what um the room allowance is for so we're adding two inches room allowance so we have 46 you know for our new um body circumference for the hip and then you now need to add your um sewing allowance we're gonna have one inch on every side so because there are four sides um, one inch on the one one inch on the right one inch on the left and the same thing on the back so it's a total of four four inches so we have having four inches to it for the sewing allowance and then we have 15 so for the width for the circumference all around we need 50 and then the length of the dress is 38 we have 38 for the length of the dress now if you want to finish the um the lower part of the dress the way i finished the one i have got now you need an extra two and a half inches on the bottom so you need two and a half inches on the bottom which makes this 40 and a half and then you also need another one inch on the upper part you know for joining the shoulders together or you know what have you so you can add one inch you can add half inch or whatever in this um, case i'm going to add half just so i can have a round figure 41 so that's 41 so um 41 for the length 50 for the width so my fabric i'm going to go to my fabric and cut um a, a piece that is along the selvage i'll cut 50 along the selvage and then on the length i'm going to be cutting and um, 41 so i'm going to cut that now and put this aside this is my fabric my beautiful african print fabric remember i said if you're not sure where to buy fabrics from or you don't have time to go shopping for fabrics you can just check the link below and then um, you see a link to my amazon page and my ebay page where you can buy um lovely african print fabrics So my reach here is 50. I've got 50 all the way from start to finish here. I want to um, check the length of my fabric now. Remember that um, we said we need a length of 41 inches. So um, I'm gonna try to check the length of the fabric now. So I fold it again. And then I am going to measure 41 and then I mark it. So this is 41. So yes, I have marked them um, 41 on all points from the top to bottom and I am going to um, cut it. So this is exactly what we are working with. I have folded it into four. You can see that I first folded it into two and then I folded it into another two. So um, we'll, um, yeah, we'll start to um, cut and shape the fabric now. And then yeah, so um, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to cut and shape the fabric now. So yeah, that's the end of the part one. I'm gonna be showing you how we cut it in the second part. So yeah, thanks for coming to this part one video with me. I'll see you in the next video. 
don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching again i'll see you in the next one